Good morning. It's September 27th. It's about 7 a.m. I've been up for about an hour, but I've just been laying in bed. And today is the day that we're supposed to get the keys. I say supposed to because I just, I can't believe it. I always feel like something's going to go wrong. I hope nothing goes wrong, but uh, if everything goes according to plan, I will be spending the whole day today just driving as much stuff as possible back and forth from this house to the new house that we're moving into. I should probably be quiet because Kara is asleep in the room right over there, so I don't want to wake her up. You can hear the garbage truck outside too. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to have movers come and I'll be paying them $240 an hour, so I don't want to have them worry about moving all these boxes onto the truck. Um, that's why I've tried to bring as much stuff downstairs as possible and I will try to bring more stuff downstairs because if I can move that stuff myself, I'm don't want the movers to spend an extra 20 or 30 minutes moving stuff. I'd rather save an extra $100 because it's prorated for every 15 minutes past two hours. There's still a two hour minimum charge, but they said they estimate it's gonna take four and a half hours, which seems like a lot. So yeah, it'd be like $1,200 <laughs> if it does take that long. The real estate office opens at nine, which is where I'll be going to pick up the keys and drop off the checks. And it's like an hour round trip. So I'm gonna leave at like 8.30 or maybe a little bit later just because I wanna get there as soon as possible, like shortly after they open, just so that I have as much time as possible today to be moving stuff. And I'll just be going there by myself because, well, first off, Cara is still asleep and she sleeps a lot longer than I do. But when she does wake up, she's gonna be spending the whole day cleaning. And I don't mean cleaning as in packing, I mean cleaning as in cleaning off the surfaces of everything because there's like a lot of dust. I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but like, you know, cleaning all the, Oh yeah, that's another, there's something about this house. They have the child locks on every single cabinet. I don't know if I ever showed that in any video before, but um, she's gonna spend the whole day like cleaning stuff. Um, there's some, that's it's not bugs. I think it's like seaweed, but yeah, there's stuff like that all over the house. She also has to paint this room. Uh, as you can see right now, uh, it's like a nice green color. When we moved in, it was this very ugly yellow and she wanted her space to be you know, her space. Um, the color downstairs was the color of her room. But the landlord had said they wanted it painted back to this color when we move out. I don't know if the camera really does it justice because of the lighting, but it's like this really ugly yellow and the landlord prefers this color over that nice green color. So we'll be painting it back that color, or Carl will be painting it back that color. And I think that's gonna take a lot of time today. So in between the layers of paint that she'll be uh, putting on there, I guess that's when she'll be doing the cleaning. Yesterday, she painted these bookcases and she added these appliques that she got off Amazon to them too. So will probably be in the master bedroom at the new house. I'm making a video clip right now. Hey. Here's the box of the paper stuff. We have three paper towels, two toilet paper rolls, one tissue box, and a partridge in a pear tree. I'm, I'm, I'll get some more of that stuff. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did when we first moved here last year, the annual keyboard cleaning. This is so gross, dude. I might have to use uh, Q-tips actually, but yeah, this is a year of accumulation. <laughs> I'm gonna use the toothpick to just work all the hairs and stuff to this end. And then when you take it out, it's probably a little bit too graphic. You, I don't think you wanna see that. That's good enough for now. I'll probably get like the sides of the keys after I move or something. I probably won't. Practically got like a whole head of hair in the garbage <laughs> from what was under the keys in the keyboard. Billy, it's time for another adventure. For this first trip, because I'm driving like an hour, I don't want there to be too much, sorry, <laughs> too much heavy stuff in the car. So I'm bringing like the bulky but light stuff like blankets or these empty plastic drawer things um, just because I don't want to go that far with unnecessary heavy stuff. We've got two cashier's checks, one for 1800 which is the security deposit and the key deposit, and then the other one's like 2400 which is first month rent, uh, cleaning fees, admin fees, and some other stuff like that. So that's like $4,200 worth of cashier's checks I'll be handing in today. I hope we get at least most of the deposit back from our current place because we didn't have any rental history at the time, so they wanted two months deposit, which is $4,800. So if we get that back, that would help a lot. Billy, we got the keys. We can move in. They were so nice there, dude. They gave us this gift basket too. He was like, wait, one more thing. He just came out with this big ass basket. It's so nice. 
got little towels and soap and sponge. A lot, it's, it's a lot of really nice stuff for moving into a new house. Spent like $180 on groceries. Got the uh, bare essentials for probably like the first week. Well, probably could use some more food, but besides that. Uh, so we're going to the new house now for the first time. And I guess once we get there, I could show you the Walmart haul and I'll take you around the house too. There we are, pineapple, sweet pineapple. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna start bringing stuff in. Okay, first things first, I need to turn on the AC because it's super hot in here. The guy said it was set to 85. Oh, it looks like it's 87 in here, so it's cool down a bit. I'll just quickly run through the house and show you the whole layout and everything. Um, I don't want to get too in-depth until everything's actually in here and we have all the furniture and stuff, but there's the kitchen. There is no pantry. This is just the laundry room, but there's these extra cabinets here, so I kind of feel like that makes up for it. Plus, there's only two of us now. You don't have to worry about food for three people. There's the backyard. Uh, I'll just quickly show you. It's just rocks. There's no plants, which is exactly what I like. I like as little maintenance as possible. I can barely take care of myself, much less another living being. There's the front door, got a half bath, up three stairs. By the way, they recently just uh, redid the floor down there. I think it used to be carpet. I really like that type of floor. It does need to be swept though. Um, I felt a lot of like dirt particles or whatever on the ground. So when you come up, you got two bedrooms, side by side, closet, closet. I'm thinking I'll probably have that room for my office. Uh, we'll see though. Got the closet here, uh, bathroom, and then here's the master bedroom. Got the walk-in closet. We got a view. And then here's the bathroom. Uh, I have to go around the whole house with that uh, was like a you know, walk in, walk through checklist when you first walk in and note down any issues there are um, just so that we don't get charged when we move out. I'll take pictures. For those curious, here's the $180 Walmart haul. So I got the paper stuff. Watermelons are still $4. That is, that is I, I love that so much. And then you know, just Tupperware, paper, sponges, Q-tips, just basic stuff, you know, all the, the, the bare essentials for the first week. We got a little buddy keeping us company. Hopefully a dead little buddy. There's some more in the garage, but I'll just sweep all that up later when I get the broom here. Okay, well, it's 12.30 and I just spent the last like half hour plus uh, just trying to get the AC turned on, which I could not get to turn on. Um, they're closed until, the office is closed until one. So I'm gonna make another trip uh, with stuff to bring back here and hopefully they'll be open by the time I get back. And I can ask them about the AC not turning on because it's up to 88 degrees in there. Well, in the meantime, I will enjoy my bread, my day old section bread. I love that section. And this is what my day is going to consist of. Just driving back and forth, moving a lot of boxes, and hopefully we can get the AC working. Let's get going. Another complication to the plan. It's not gonna alter everything, hopefully, but uh, so tomorrow the movers are gonna be here between seven and 8 a.m. Um, and the H, I got a call from the HVAC company for the other house, the new house, uh, and they said the person is gonna arrive there between nine and 12 a.m. So if that's the case, like after the movers get here, when they've been here for like an hour, I might have to just drive over to the other place and then car will stay here and make sure everything gets moved properly. While I'm at the other place, make sure the HVAC person is doing whatever, signing off. I need, I, I need to be there, I asked. Um, they said that someone needs to be there for safety reasons and probably to sign off on something as well. I'm a bit skeptical about putting my guitars and computer and all the other electronics in there because it's 90 degrees in that house. It might be even a little bit hotter now, but it is gonna get dark eventually, so it will cool down overnight at the very least. So I'm gonna try to hold off on moving the temperature sensitive stuff as long as possible. Babe. I'm forwarding our mail, but it's really expensive. I don't know if we can afford this. We might have to take out a loan. How much is it? A dollar and 10 cents. So that'll be 220 for both of us. By the way, I think it was after the first trip I did, or maybe after the second trip. No, yeah, after the first trip, because I did the long drive. Car had already had the room painted, and <laughs> it's all done in here, so. 
and it's very nice to have out of the way. So she's just been cleaning for the last few hours. One of the most important things when you're renting a house, besides having AC in the desert, is making sure that you go around the house and inspect the property and note down and take pictures as well or video or whatever. If there's any anything that's like dirty or broken, um, this isn't necessarily to get repairs done. It's just so that when you move out, there's evidence of what the house already was like so you don't get charged for that. So any spots or dirt or cracks or whatever I find, it's all gonna be noted down. My God, dude, it is 94 degrees in the house. We're at Panda after a long day of moving stuff and packing stuff, we still have more to go. But I was just thinking about uh, the story my dad told me when I was born. One of his friends asked, is my name Spencer with a C or an S? And my dad said, obviously S, because what kind of name would Kapenser be? But they weren't talking about that C or S. That was the second one is they were talking about. Okay, you go first. What was your say? Lend a hand to those less fortunate. Mine says, fiat currency is being devalued at an alarming rate by Bitcoin. It's weird. Now we're deciding the placement of where we want everything for tomorrow morning when the movers come because we don't want to have to like dilly dally and waste time in the morning. And also this is the light in this room. It's not very bright. I don't know if you could tell, but that's fine. We'll add our own lighting. Oh, oh it was 94 when we got here. It's 93 now. I just opened the window. So that's helping a bit. <laughs> it's so bad. When you get pulled over tonight while I'm driving, I'll be like, come on officer, don't bust me for this. It's only a little pot. It doesn't really work well in this context because it's legal here. As I've been moving stuff into the car, I just, I keep looking at the scorpion that's on the wall and he's been like moving around a little bit. He's kind of like went from one side to the other at one point. I just CBA though, bro. <laughs> We just got the our house sprayed like a month ago, so I'll be I'll be dead soon, anyways. I'm bringing the stuff into the new house right now, and these freaking grasshopper spook car keeps telling me the difference between the uh, grasshoppers and crickets, but I keep forgetting the difference. Through that guy just jumped on there. They're all over the place, man. It's past 10 p.m., so this is gonna have to be the last trip for tonight. I tried to clear out um, all the space so that wherever we want the furniture to go there will be open space and the path to get to wherever we want furniture to go will be open as well including up the stairs too but i'm not gonna go up the stairs because i'm about to head out now and so begins the most sensitive part of the moving project making sure the pc gets there all in one piece or actually it's going to be there in many pieces now this is what i call a gamer desk don't worry i'm definitely going to wipe that up that literally took like two minutes max and it is looking beautiful again. And I think taking apart the desk is the last thing that I'm gonna have to do for tonight. Everything is just uh, furniture. I uh, just wanna make it as easy and fast as possible. I told them, I'm gonna tell them not to touch anything in the kitchen. That's all just little stuff that we're gonna move over the next few days. Got the furniture and I can't even see. More furniture, it's all just furniture here and mattresses. Going to bed at midnight now and probably gonna be waking up around 6.30, which is actually just about the normal amount of sleep I usually get, if not even a little bit more. So kind of works out well for me, for Kara, not so much.